Tegelman Cinema House. At the heart of the capital city of Pyongyang is the Tegelman Cinema House. The Cinema House has recently added a new gorgeousness to its original architectural beauty. At the either frontal corner of the roof, there is a sculpture of four flags. They were set up when the cinema house was first built. The letters 1955 there stand for the year of its inauguration. The cinema house, the first cinema set up in 1955 on the war debris, was a fruit of efforts of President Kim Il-sung, who wanted to provide the people with dwelling houses, schools and hospitals, as well as theatres and cinemas, as soon as possible after the war. The president came to the cinema on December 29, 1955, right before its opening ceremony. He dropped in at different parts of the cinema, including the audience hall and the projection room, and appreciated that everything was excellent. He said that it was somewhat awkward to call it the Central Cinema House, and that since it was near the well-known Taedongmen Gate, it could be named after it. The cinema thus obtained its name, the Taedongmen Cinema House. The cinema became the historical venue of the New Year ceremonies of children in Pyongyang in the presence of President Kim Il-sung on several occasions. Leader Kim Jong-il suggested that the cinema house, a building associated with the president's history, be refurbished so as to meet the demands of the 21st century and wisely led its realization. In the middle of the second floor, flat roof propped by the octangular pillars, there is a trio group statue which attaches dignity to the building and explains the spirit of the times. The facade and size of the building are kept in their original look, while its back was pushed further so that the floor space could be doubled. The sophisticated sculptures on the pillar corners and walls add dignity to the house. Entering through the front doors, one faces the cinema emblem on a glass wall in the central hall. On the expanded floor of the central hall, and the flights of stairs are laid the quality granite plates marked off by black stone lines, all giving the feeling of grandeur and freshness. The central hall is opened up to the second floor ceiling with attractive round flat light. The adjoining two audience rooms are flanked on corridors. Behind the glass wall, there is a book counter. The foreign language books are sold on the second floor.
Both on the second and the third floors, there are displayed the pictures showing the reality of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Here, one can have a pleasant time according to one's needs. Either of the audience rooms has 500 seats. Their interior has been originally designed to meet the full visual and acoustic demand. The audience seats are put on a slope, steeper than usual, so that the spectators can be free from inconvenience at any place in the hall. <music> Leader Kim Jong-il sat on a spectator's chair to study the distance to the screen and taught how to remove the inconvenience the spectator in the front row might have. General Kim Jong-il said the too short a distance between the screen and the seat could lead to eye fatigue as well as neck straining, which might cause the cervical vertebra complaint. So he told us to remove the two rows in the front. The Daedongmun Cinema House has thus become a perfect movie center under the scrupulous care of leader Kim Jong-il who paid deep attention from its design to completion. It's terrific to see the film in this newly refurbished cinema. It's a perfect cinema house of the 21st century. Busy as he was with his Songun leadership of revolution, General Kim Jong-il did all to give the people such a superb cultural center. We are grateful indeed. It is a precious national treasure, a work of lofty intention of leader Kim Jong-il to glorify the valuable legacies President Kim Il-sung left through all generations. The Korean people will enjoy their life here and hand down to posterity the benevolent care of their leader. <laughs> <laughs> 